to get my face ready, I'm going to start off with putting in my contacts. These are from Olens in the style Scandi Olive, which is one of my favorite all-time lenses. It's a very subtle green, which I love. And then I'm also going to apply some lip balm. This one is from Pony's Collection with Morphe. And now it's time to prep the face. I like to use two different primers for two different reasons. So the first one is a glow oil from Pixi. And this one just makes my complexion look a little bit brighter, which I like to go in with first. And then I'll go in with the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer and I'll put that in my T-zone where I want my pores to look a little bit smaller and my skin to look, you know, a little smoothed out. And now onto the base. As you guys know, I love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I like to use my fingers and rub this in. And as you can see, it just gives me a very light coverage, which I do like. It just evens out my skin tone. Because then I'll go in with, of course, my favorite concealer. This one is from Too Faced. It's their Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm using the shade Almond, and I absolutely love this concealer. I have talked about it many, many times before. I love the coverage it gives i love the shade as well and it doesn't cling onto any dry patches it looks good underneath my eyes over my blemishes which i do have a fair few of because it is that time of the month but i like to blend this in with my ring finger i think you just get the most coverage when you blend in your base with your fingers And then to set everything in, I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Loose Powder. And I haven't used this in a while. This one's actually a new tub. Um, so I'm using that to set my under eyes and my cheek area and like my T-zone area where I want to keep fairly matte. And then I'll just go in with my press powder just to set the rest of my face in. And then to set everything in, I'm going to go in with my Pixi Glow Mist. I absolutely love this. And I did spray a lot because it is so hot here. So I use a little extra just to refresh in myself. And now it's time to work on the brows. So what I like to do first actually is to add on extra powders on my brow area. So I use the Essence Translucent Press Powder just to set everything down. I find that when I apply my brows on top of a set base, they just go on a lot better so that's what I did and then I use a couple different eyebrow pencils the first one I like to use is from Winky Lux it's a triangle brow pencil and I use that mainly just to get the shape and base of my brows going and then I'll take an angle brush with some brow powder on that and I like to fill in the rest and get the majority of the shape going and then I'll take a micro brow pencil to really finesse and define my brows even further typically I do go in with a brow gel but now that I have bangs I find myself just skipping over the step and because my brows are quite hidden I feel like I do my brows a little bit quicker these days because I'm not so nitty gritty um, about it being super super even. And now onto the eyes, I'm going to prep them by priming them. I'm using the Ace Beauty Eye Primer, just using my ring finger and dabbing that out. And then of course the eyeshadow palette I'm using today is my baby. This is my collab palette with Odin's Eye, the Red Dragon palette. So I took the shade Serene, which is my favorite. As you can see, a beautiful peachy transition shadow and it's so pigmented, easy to blend out. Just letting you guys know there's not much stock left so grab it while you can but serene has been my go-to transition i think it's such a beautiful peachy tone so i take that all over my lid into my crease and also into my lower lash line as well 
Next, I'm taking the shade Claw, which is the dark matte chocolate brown, and I'm working that at the outer corners of my eyes. The look that I'm showing you today is my go-to look, and it's also my go-to look with Red Dragon. I think I might have shown you this look in the past in a different tutorial, but it's truly what I do the most with this palette. It's just my go-to look. So working that at the outer corners here, and then also onto the lower lash line as well for a bit of definition. And then for the star of the show, I'm taking the shade Overheat and I'm using my ring finger and applying that to the inner third of my eyes. And as you can see, Overheat is so, so pretty. I take a brush just to blend out the outer edges, but if you use your finger to apply Overheat, you definitely can get this to be a little bit more opaque and golden. Typically, I use Overheat more as an eyeshadow topper as it has those micro glitters, but as you can see, you can get that opaqueness with it. And here I I am now just taking the Unleash Here glitter stick to highlight the inner third of my lower lash line. This is also another favorite product that I have been loving. I love the little micro glitters you get from this eyeliner. Been loving the style. It's kind of like a fake egg yolk style. I look because I'm not actually contouring my eyes, I'm just highlighting it so it gives me that illusion. But now it's time for the wing. I'm taking the M Cosmetics Brown Liquid Liner to create the base of my wing. I create a very thin line just because I want that definition, but then I'll actually take Claw from my palette and then I'll use that to smudge out this wing to create more of a smoky wing. And I feel like just smoking out your wing looks so much more softer and diffused. And then here I am taking a black liquid liner and I'm gonna use this to tightline my waterline. I find that using a liquid liner to tightline just works out a lot better. It doesn't smear or smudge, but I know this could be very dangerous and unsafe. So if you don't feel confident, I don't recommend, but I don't have any issues with doing this. So now I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes by giving them a good curl and then I'll be applying mascara. I'm using the one from Hemish, another favorite. Obviously this is my go-to look so I'm using my go-to products, my favorite products that I love and are my tried and true. And then taking some pressed glitter from Unleashia, I'm going to highlight my lower lash line that in a third a little bit more. These are a bit chunkier glitters so they give a bit more dimension and sparkle which I think looks so so pretty. And now just popping on my false lashes. These have been a new favorite. They're from House of Lashes in the style Love and Light. And it's a really nice natural but glam lash. Like they're short in length, but they have a really nice fluff and density to it. And now back onto the face, I'm taking a contour powder and I'm gonna use this very lightly just to give some shading to my face. So at my cheekbones and also on my jawline as just to give a bit of definition to my face. I don't go in with so much bronzer these days, but um, I still like a little bit. And just taking some of that contour powder to contour my nose. I just like to go down the sides of my nose. I'm not so technical with this. But now on to blush. This has been my go-to blush, one of my favorites. It's from Colourpop in the shade Kiss and Tell. Also comes in a heart-shaped packaging as well, which is super cute. And I'm just applying that to the apples on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose as well. It's such a perfect peachy pink color. And to highlight using the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity, I'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose as well, and a little bit on my chin. And this is such a beautiful highlight. It's so subtle, but it's also quite intense as well. Now let's move on to the lips, just taking off that lip balm. I'm of course going in with the ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Air Kiss. This is my favorite, but I'll also take the shade on a roll and apply that to the inner rim of my lip for a gradient look. Your lips look super pouty. This combo of these two shades is perfect and I love how my lips look. Thank you. 
And now for the final touches, I'm taking a freckle pin and I'm adding on one beauty spot that I have and then adding on some fake ones just around my eyes. I feel like beauty spots are so pretty and they just give a little bit more character to your face. And the last step, which is definitely not necessary since we did add on the glitter, but I'm just taking a bit of white eyeliner and adding one dot at the center on my lower lash line. So this, you guys, is the completed look. This is my go-to glam makeup look. This is the makeup look that I feel the most confident and comfortable in. All the products and techniques are what I rely on, my tried and true. So this is just the Judy look. These are my favorite products and my favorite look on me. And it might be a little glam for some people, but it's what I feel the most pretty in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you guys did enjoy the video if you could give the video a thumbs up for me i would appreciate it so much but with that being said i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye